series that we have started last week. So we had a great time last week. I hope that you've enjoyed last week's sermon. So it was great. It was practical. It was relevant to all of us. So because it is a need for us as, as human beings, as people that Tabapilayo and as Amakol. Our topic that was last week, that was Kuberanayo, is to find your God-given purpose in your life. So that's what we drive. That's what we strive to do. As, as, as strive to to do as 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 the community of God. Ogucha sends in Dando Angulungula, stole in Dando Angulungula, stole in Tabola Angulungul, gave below Zed. I can them manage your pillar and then upile upile get a bull angulungul because no matter what trauma difficulties they arrive, but you are within the protection of God because we are within a Tabolak. 
So Ngulugulu together is no vision without a provision. So if you are within the purpose of God, and Ngulugulu will always make sure that he takes care of you. We've seen God doing that. We've seen God in the life of David. He's been with David since he was a young boy, protected him until he became a king. We saw Joseph when he was a young boy until he became a prime minister. We saw Gideon. So we saw a lot of people that Ngulugulu Hambe Nabo, as long as they were within the plan of God, then Nkunkun was with them. We saw Abraham, he walked with him, he took risks, he left the family. But all the risk that even if you are taking risk in life, but if you take the risk in the name of the Lord, then God will make sure that he takes care of you. So it's very important that whatever risk that you are taking in life, there must be calculated risk. You must take the risk that, um, that are inspired by God himself. Look at David. David took a risk when he went to fight Goliath. So he took a risk that everyone didn't want to take. But he said, okay, So while everyone, and then this guy is also Bunana, but no. I get common to that who can try and, and, and try to to engage this guy or fight this guy. Everyone was running around. Everyone was trying to avoid the topic in front in front of them. So everyone was was avoiding the elephant in the room. And then but David came and then David took a risk. And and that's what we that, 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 that's what we do. So if you take a calculated risk that it's inspired by God, you must know what he God will back you up, man. So God is that kind of a person. That's what I love about God. God is that kind of a person that he will back you up. So if if you if you have done something in his name, or you were inspired by him, or you were directed by him, God will always find a way. And what I love about him, even if you do it and then you fail, and he will he will still comes in for you. Look at look at this guy, look at Peter. Peter Ubono Jess, Jess Wama Peswamanzi, we am Landela, and take a risk. Uti, I follow your word. So Mago were not and gaze and gaze. And then Upitu we are as again. And then we are glad we are Minza. And then Uchess we am Dawood. So God will always be the Rana Stawood. No man a big tua, it in a safe again a women's, but no good good is a Stawood. If we send it in his name, and then it's a full land and the purpose yard. So that's why, would he, by sharing this child, by sharing this sermon, I want us to 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 minimize our risk again, to minimize our issues as much as we now in the lane. Sometimes we don't need to just shy us because we will be there to guide us. Umanga basic with the bolake, but umanga be fun na kono kono kshungu with the bolake. But the siyaz because David has proven to us. We've got a case study. Utu David no man hambe sko din se tuns lo gufa. Angia uwe swabo gubi. Ngoba wenu nami. So we know guti e tuns lo gufa. It's a passage we are going through. Although I go in a, in a velu in the shadow of death. So si andula lapo. So asi, asi na kukuti e si zo shala, si zo pelelela. Because si suge skwenza e kaben laki. That's what Romans 8 o qualify ayo. Uguti kong eksebe nze lana kube ngugutle. Kwa banjani kwa bantanda ayo. Nala baba bizo nge kubo naki. So uma ngabusa eksebe nge kubo naki. God will always back you up. Ukautu Noah. U Noah can build an ark. Can build an ark. Angaza ibone. He was not an architect. He was not He was not a builder. He was not um, a carpenter. So but he had to he had to build. And then he had to bring an idea. And you know what? Uh, uh, he got people that were assisting him to build as well. So you, you must understand you want to, to try to convince people, oh guys, I'm building this, and then people are coming, they are giving you a hand, and then you take risk, you work in the owners, you will always succeed. But most of the people you will always succeed. So I'm showing you the scenarios, and my success stories are Puma from the people you are within the purpose. So that's how important it is to us then will always come in for us. Look at Martin Luther King and what God has done through their lives. Look at the change, look at the impact that they've done. And it's because then they, they, they took a chance, they took a risk. Martin Luther, he was the Catholic and, and, and then he came against them because 
Unkulunkulu amrevela la something. What only purpose he He wanted to start what God has called him to do. And then there was havoc. And then then bam keeper. And he stood out. He, he believed on what he believed in, and he stood on on what he believed in. And then he began to build. And look at the change that he has done. Also, we are the result of of people like him. So there are so many people, Luke or Pastor and James Toller, they've, they've started. How many people that they were saved through their times? If you start and, 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 and agree, we blame Yangulungu and God will always back it up. So we've got, we've got case studies that are proof of your People that are doing the will of God, people that are living the purpose, and then they always leave a mark in our society. And they will always remember you by the works that we have done. So they will always remember you by the things that you've invented because when they journey, you are living your purpose. And remember, but they believe so that's why I love this series. That's why I love what we what we minister at, at at Discovery Church. We speak purpose. We speak discovering your purpose. We speak oh peeling pillow. About your life, discover yourself. We we, we are all about uh, self discovery. We are all about greatest discovery of finding God, finding yourself, and find what you can do. What is your role in the society? So let me continue. I was I was I was excited about this um, sermon as I prepare it. So I will I will continue with it today. So we are continuing from point number five. So last time we've left on point number four. The first one was go to the word of the Lord. Number two was prayer. Um, number number three, then it was follow God, follow Israel, follow what God is saying about your life. Number four, then we spoke about the promises of God, what God speaks to us as a church, as as a band on back, as a band that are agreeing. So today I'm on point number five. I want to speak about the living a life driven purpose. A, a, a living a purpose driven life so that's what i want to talk about today and now but i want you to grasp grasp this because it's where the juice is as we continue to discover ourselves and 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 uh these are the steps that are helping you to self-discover and to discover why you exist on this earth and why so you must know what everything that we do it's it's christ-centered Christ is the center of everything that we do. We cross to Jesus, we or, 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 or inspire everything that we do. Our motives, our 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 objectives, uh, inspire our actions, inspire our our talks, our aspirations. Everything that is inspired by God. If everything is as inspired by Christ, it's centered through Christ. Then I promise you, then the chances of success are hundreds, because God did never fail. He always proven that he is God that was always there for us. This is what I want to 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 to, to read about you. I want to give you these five points today under this um, uh, small title that speaks about living a purpose driven life. So I want you to know which number one, we were planned for God's pleasure. So that's what we were designed for. Remember this was in Fulila previously. It speaks about what we are God's handwork. So God created us and he designed us for good works. So when you were planned for what you could do towards an hour. So the first purpose that you need to do is to understand what you, your first purpose is to offer a real worship. A real worship, what does it mean? It's a self-denial. I mean, who I think I am, I want to know what you could do to me and what God says about me. So I go back to God and say, God, as you are my creator, what is your purpose? Why you designed me? Why you invented me? Why you made me in this position? Why you want to be family? Why you want... Remember what you didn't choose to be born in South Africa. You never chose to be born with lineage again to your, by your parents. So when you find problems, then you must go back to the one that has created you. So now you need to go back to him and then we find what he, and what he does to us. And then he's saying that offer a real worship. So sacrifice yourself um, uh, by, by saying what he, I will corner 
wadu we koni lukungulu kula tingi kona ngami. Because when uh, the problem is about your your, your self definition, uh, which it's being it, it's being inspired by the environment, it's being inspired by the by the people around you, it's being inspired by the society, it's being inspired by the socioeconomics. So everything that when uh, around when you are that define now, aliens who we born who we don't want to learn. There was a person, young boy, uh, called Kidion. We find him in scripture. Little Bible, Ukidion, Wakulela in environment where Abazalbake, Babe Kashil, the nation ate Kashil, he born in Shaiwa, Bethunyez, Basis of Sangungu, Betra the way in captive, Bepuluk Oluin, Bepuma Bapuluk Oluin, Bazamugo, the water by your cash. They were always running away because of the environment. And then Ugulu my fear again, I take a cowl in a mandla, then Ukidion, Nutikanja, and Kulmenam goes. So, no, it's, it's impossible. Tina Zipi Tabis and Anija Lobab. Zipi is a desert shell when I was a school who to Unkulunkulo for Thai, Unkulunkulon Ganelela, Unkulunkulo that who does wonders, Unkulunkulo keep a keep it. How come we are facing this situation? Singanje. So he didn't want to believe what God says he is because of the environment. That's why I'm saying that it's wrong for you to define yourself by your environment. Sometimes it can be a good environment. It's wrong also to define yourself about that environment where you think that you are better off by that environment. Look at the scenario of, of, of Moses. Moses was born in a palace. And Nukunukulu, but before Am Sebenzi, he said he had to take him back. Because Nukunukulu wanted him to identify himself. The true you is not defined by the environment. But the true definition is about the calling. It's about what I've downloaded in your life. So that's why it's very important as a human being, as Umzalwanewam, that you need to find about my life. So which means we 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 dismantle what we define by the environment. It might be good, we saw that it doesn't work, it might be bad, we saw it that it doesn't work. So we need God to define us. So now you need to go back to him so that he will define you. So the real worship is about but when I'm also young as and God begins to build you and then he begins to show himself to you and then you begin to live a life that is full of 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 his nature and then you say God I want to do I want to live my purpose so that's what that's that's what you need to understand about God so number one you need the purpose you need to offer a real worship to God by then in in your life. Number two, and the purpose you need to enjoy a true fellowship, a real fellowship. A real fellowship, you must understand what you were formed for God's family. You are part of God's family. You are part of Umzimba Christ. You are part of the, the community of God. So alone. That's why I took my Abraham. I am blessing you so that you will be a blessing. So because Unkulukulu always looks at the environment and looks at the community and looks at the person that has a mega on that area so that he will bless the people around. So when you were called, so that was a was Ukshinja. Abafuwe, who was Ukshinja, your siblings. That's why you want to complain. You must understand what you were called for those people. Unkulukulu has blessed you to be a blessing to the people that are around you. So that's what we are called for. So the, the, the real purpose is to understand that Mina, I must enjoy the real fellowship. So also Utu Paul, Ungabanai family akwe sakaya, but abako aba abazan ba abafu in bangabela, ilaba that you find them in the community of God. And Ukrasu Jesu, Uti we are poor mauna twelve years at Temple Nuta peace with my father's business. So these are my family. Ukoma the people that that families, that he calls them true brothers. So that's what, that's what you need to understand. What in a true family, it's not only those are but the true family are the people that God has brought in your life. The people that are So those are your true families. So you belong to a true family. Enjoy that real fellowship by or by part of God's family. Number three, you, you must know that you are created to be like Christ. So you are the last Jesus people that can see how you speak, how you do things, how you, how, 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 
how 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 you react uh, to situations how how do you act in situations that are around so all those things then is where you about is where you think about so across the chairs you better when go on go 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 you actually like to so that when I was a fan and I on this earth so that's why I go to you are a king and a priest you are a leader in, in actually in your life you must know what in each and every follower there is a spike of a leader in him so you just need someone that you can trigger that leadership in you and then then you become a leader because you will, will always create you as a leader so you are a leader in your own right so you must be able to lead yourself first then you can be led by someone but you must know who the leaders are always the first among as i'm the leader as i lead um, discovery church then i'm the first among i'm not better off than the people that i lead so i am the leader but i am first among because i'm leading the leaders so you must understand that you are also a leader because god has created you to be a leader ngobunkulunkulu akwenza ukuthi nawe udominate ubuse everyone then but ngobunkulunkulu has made leaders that that would be the first among but but it, that statement it can tell you that we are within the people so we are not far away from the people that's why Moses had my puma so your puma ne ngane zethu nabadala bena yonke into yena but he was among people that's what we saw even on Christ Christ was among people we see the lifestyle of Christ which is always amongst people he always bring a direction to people he always comes with the solutions around people he always fights for peace he always stands for peace he always brings answers where there is questions so that's who you are that's who you are in this nature that's who you are that's what you need to understand what is my role in this society it's to make sure that i bring solution i bring answers i bring a change kubantu engiphila nabo so we are shaped to serve god number 4 we are shaped to serve god the fourth purpose for you uh, is to practice the real ministry is to serve god the tribe peluti u crossu jesus see as his cut for those that are by onkonza by onkonza in spirit and in truth as i paraphrase so um, in spirit and in truth remember ukuthi u crossu jesus lapho wayikhuluma wayikhuluma nase samaria they always knew ukuthi bona ukhona ithempeli ngapha abanye ngapha abantu bane banentaba yasesinoy Mount Sinai where Moses kon imthethe yaphuma khona so they always knew ukuthi ingakhathi David usizolo amenivela intabeni because they intaba yabo kwakuyi into uNkulunkulu ngempela akhuluma kiyona uNkulunkulu uvela ngakhona then abanye bazi ukuthi thina sine tempeli so that's why there was a fight there was a commotion but Christ comes and then he dismantles all this because you have actually there is a time that it's coming where by onkonza by onkonza ngeqiniso nangomoya because why as there will be no longer a temple there will be no longer a mountain so but thina we become the true temple uNkulunkulu uhlala kuthina uNkulunkulu ukuthina umoya wanKulunkulu uhlala kuthina so we serve God by being inspired by his spirit so God was talking about us he was not talking about the musician this verse has got nothing to do with the musician but it has everything to do with us that we are the temple of God now so we are worshiping god so the true worship remember what in tell way kohla wena udumisa in uNkulunkulu with your life so that's a real ministry the real ministry is to practicalize what uNkulunkulu has downloaded in you you used to practicalize the the the, the real gospel by ngokuthi uvezwe uChristu abantu babone wena in everything that wenza konke ukuhlu jesa wenzayo for his community ilokhe sifuna ukubona nawe ukwenza le community yakho ukwenzela abafuweni ukwenzela osesibeni awuthi ngothi Jesu ingakana nezinto azenzayo ezenzela abafuwabo remember ukuthi um uje ujesu o james the he was his younger brother so he was with them uma ngabenza ma miracle ngokudla la usukwenzela naye umfuwabo ukuthi adle khona la so christ was always realistic he was always looking after for his brothers for his family for his friends for his disciples so for people that are around so that's a nature that we need to to, to have as as christians that we must take care of our people we must look after for our brothers and the people that are around us that's a true gospel and the mother gola christ lay hands to them and then they are healed so we must always by any means then we support we make sure that we are there for people and that's why to christ to jesus as from this corner that's jelly corner Number 5 as i close i want you to understand that we were made for a mission so you are not just made by mistake even if you are back to our zalwa out of 
umshato no mawazala hendelenga selegi. I want you to understand what you were made for a mission. You were created for a mission. Unkulunkulu has a purpose in Peloyako. Wants to change lives. Wants to make impact in our society. Wants to change in Pelozabando the mindset of people, how they think, how they do things. Unkulunkulu wants to develop lives through you. So that's why I want you to understand that Unkulunkulu has brought you in this. Auzangu iketelu tuzalwa. Auzangu iketelu the environment. Unkulunkulu begela because of unutu shinji in Pelozabando. So I want you to take your position. I want you to understand that I'm here in order to serve God's plan. And I want you to play and to live out a real evangelism of which to understand that I was made for a mission. So my purpose is to go out and evangelize and speak about Christ and speak about the goodness of the Lord. Every time when God does wonderful things, then you must always share about the greatness of the Lord. So that's what, that's, that's what we're all about. So we just want to share the goodness of the Lord, the great things about the Lord, and everything that we do. So take your position, share the gospel of the Lord, be like the men like oh, Martin Luther King, be like oh, John Haas, be like oh, N.J.'s Tolle, be like every ever, oh, oh, Oral Roberts, be like the great men of God that we know, that oh, Ronald Bonke, that they went out and ministered the gospel. Those are the giants that you know, uh, or John G. Lake. Those are the people that have lived, Catherine Kuhlman. So all those people, they were there. They've made a change. They decided to live a life full of purpose. They decided to know what we were born for a mission. Then we need to accomplish our mission. So I want you to so play your part. It is, it is your time to play your role as a Christian. So I'm, we are up for a challenge. We are in a mission to go out and spread the gospel of the good news. Did you buy pen Mark verse 1, Mark 1 verse 1? Did you call away the basically about the Lord Jesus Christ? Let's go out and spread this good news. That's what we are called for. Once we do that, we know that we are living. That's part of our purpose. That's part of the role why we exist. As you've listened the word of the Lord, and I pray that it may manifest in your life, that it may change your perception of thinking, that it may change the attitude, it may change the way that you see things or you see yourself, then I so pray that you may become an impact and become an agent of change in people's lives. Let's go out and make a difference in people's lives. We love you so much. It's always a blessing. We pray that the word of the Lord will inspire you to do good in every time that you hear it. Continue to pray for us. Continue to pray for what God is doing in our lives. And we depend on your prayers as much as we are leaders, but we depend on your prayers. We continue to pray and also continue to, to like and to share our messages in all our platforms. Spread the goodness of the Lord. We love you so much. Amen.